you had read the emails, you'd know that it's about the struggles to manage the drought. They've decided that it's time for a more um, distributed democracy. The river stewards, that's us, are going to be given some real power to make decisions. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. <laughs> this is for real? Well, just because I work for the government doesn't mean I speak for them. But in my personal opinion, and it's my opinion only, let's keep that clear, I'm pretty sure they simply don't know what to do and need to share the risks. Although they would probably say something like, the government is exercising its due diligence to ensure that any decisions about risk are made by a representative group of diverse stakeholders. But again, that is just my personal opinion, so please strike that from the minutes. I most certainly did, first in time, first in right. Order, order. Well, now we know why Harry is away. Lands and resource manager for the Delta Village. Well, that is her third absence in a row. What do we do? We pray to Mother Earth that she is safe. Or we can just call her on her cell phone. First Nations people have a different way of knowing the world. And maybe we haven't built sufficient trust. After what has gone on in the Delta and the terrible impacts on their traditional way of life, would any of you trust us? Traffic is backed up on Highway 1. No one can get in or out of town as the creek breached its banks this afternoon. The mayor said he's prepared to declare a state of emergency. What did she just say? It's raining like crazy in the mountains. Worst we've ever seen. I need to make babies or my species will die out. In a free market, you fish have the freedom to generate the wealth needed to determine your own future. If you're willing to work hard at it. I'm a fish. All oh, right. We have to deal with the federal government for everything. Don't get me started on the feds. <laughs> it took us years to get the feds on side to develop this land and then to entice investors. Rebuilding will take years. We'd have to sacrifice funds from housing and education in order to rebuild the golf course. If any of our reservoirs get contaminated, people could get seriously ill. Not to mention the overwhelming cost of flushing out all the pipes afterwards. Great. On top of industrial waste and fertilizer and pharmaceuticals in the water, I have to deal with human waste? Well, we can prevent a lot of that, but we can't take on more than is optimal. If we do, we don't know what the consequences could be. We'd have to shut down entire systems just to be safe. We've seen this happen the past 20 years, and we've raised concerns about their flood plans and flood mitigation, but no one listened. Sounds like you're wanting more government. At least more governance. Some sort of understanding that allows us to have a strategy instead of crisis management. I'm the major economic driver in this region. That means I employ families. I said it, families. The men and women who work on our sites make a lot of money, and they spend that money on homes, and cars. Lose me, you lose them. If we cut back on government strangulations and let the market decide for us, we'll react swifter and swifter. A business-like approach is the most effective way to deal with any crisis. You can't breathe money. You can buy good air with it. We've already bottled water. You don't think bottled air isn't next? Get now. Get while the getting's good. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. It's economics. The more you make people need things, the more jobs you create making the things people need. Would it be too much to ask that you remember everyone downstream? 